Hello, and welcome to the Studio X Working with Excel automation demo. In this video, we'll learn how we can use Studio X in order to automate otherwise manual and repetitive tasks performed using Excel. All of the actions and resources that help us interact with Excel are found in the Activities panel under Excel Application Activities. Let's take a glance. We have the Use Excel File resource, the activity that opens Excel files in our projects. The actions are displayed in alphabetical order and depict the most common actions that we take in an Excel file and have similar names with the commands from Excel. We have actions that help us organize the file by deleting and inserting columns, rows and sheets, formatting cells or tables and adding, filtering and sorting the data. We also have actions that help us work with formulas, macros, and even a dedicated VLOOKUP action. Lastly, we can save the file, save it as a PDF, or save it as a CSV. Yes, we can also automate appending, reading, and writing CSVs. So, let's get started. Our challenge for today will be to reconcile data from two different Excel files, an annual report which includes consolidated month-by-month -month data on employee expenses, and an April expenses file. Providing details on the expenses generated by each of the company's employees throughout the respective month. Our final objective will be to create a new sheet in our annual report for the month of April and pull the corresponding expenses data into it. To achieve our goal, we'll first need to create a common identifier between the two files. In our case, that information will be the employee name, as this is the only piece of information present in both files. For this purpose, we'll do a concatenation between the first name and last name in the April Expenses file in order to match the format in the annual report file. Second, we will need to do a VLOOKUP between the two files in order to bring the April Expenses data into the corresponding sheet of the annual report file. Let's now switch to Studio X to start automating the process. Our project is created, so the next step is to tell Studio X that we want to work with Excel. To do this, we will click on the Add Activity button and look for the Use Excel File option. As you can see, Studio X will by default suggest some common scenarios, but we can always use the search functionality or the collapsible activity side panel in order to find our desired activity. Now we need to add the April Expenses file. We can also add a name to it in order to reference it at a later point in the automation. As we already mentioned, we'll start by creating a concatenation between the first name and the last name, and we'll do that in a new column that will become the D column. To do that, we will add an insert column activity. Indicate as a range the April expenses sheet. Because we indicate that it has headers, we can tell the robot to insert the new column before the expenses column. If we uncheck it, we'll see the letter of the column. To make it easier for us, let's leave it checked. We'll name the new column full name and leave the data type as general. Let's do a first run on our robot to see what happens. As we can see, our automation was successful and the new column was inserted. Let's now proceed to creating the concatenation. We need the full name to populate all of the cells under the full name header. So first, we'll use an Excel for each row action. The iteration takes place in the April Expenses sheet, and we indicate that it has headers. Second, to do the concatenation, we need a write cell activity. We're going to write the current value under first name, add a space, and the current last name value. We write all of these under full name. Now let's check the robot. Because the automation, as it is right now, tells the robot to insert a new column, it will insert a new column each time we click run. So, we'll run just the for each row action by right-clicking on it and selecting Run from this activity. Awesome! The concatenation was successful. 
Now that we meet the VLOOKUP condition to have the common identifier, we can move on to creating the destination sheet for our VLOOKUP. We can see that in our annual report, we have entries for all previous months, but not for our month, which is April. So, we will need to create a new sheet by duplicating the template sheet and by renaming it to use the month value from the April Expenses file. Let's switch over to Studio X and see how we can automate this step. First, we need to add a new Use Excel File resource as we want to work with a new file, our annual report. So, let's insert a new Use Excel File resource inside the existing Use Excel File resource. This way, we can pass values from one Excel file to another. We add our annual report to it and reference it with the actual name of the file. Second, we will insert a duplicate sheet activity. Indicate the template sheet in our annual report as our source and rename it by indicating the month filled in the April Expenses file. If we click Run from this activity, we will see the newly created April sheet with the Expenses column ready for our VLOOKUP. Great! Now, on to the last step. Performing the VLOOKUP. We want to bring in the expenses column, the corresponding values from the monthly report. And because we want to populate all of the rows, we use an Excel for each row action. We indicate as range the sheet April from the annual report file and confirm that it has headers. Next, we add inside the for each a VLOOKUP action. It works just as the Excel VLOOKUP formula does. We need to provide a value to look up, in our case, the employee name. Next, we tell the robot where to look for the value. In the April Expenses file and the column index number relative to the full name column. Lastly, we instruct the robot to look for the exact match and to save what it retrieves in the expenses column from the annual report. And that's it! Now let's clean up the documents. And do a final run. The automation was successful. The new April sheet was created and the expenses column populated. And this concludes our demo on working with Excel using Studio X. Until next time.